Well, I need to start filming more for my YouTube channel and whatnot. So I just finished this set of trunks for a guy for Crash Jackson. I packaged them up, but let's do a video. Why not? I'm just holding it by hand, so it's probably not going to be the best video, but hey, it's a video. So I've been making trunks for him in this Minoru Suzuki kind of theme and style with the black stripe on the side with the two colored stripes bordering that um, so this pair we did kind of a gunmetal slate gray with this pleather black on the side and a um, football material like a heavyweight spandex trim came out pretty nice the trim matches the spandex uh, this wasn't the gray wasn't as thick as the heavyweight it's more of a medium weight but it's still good material um, I use it for my stuff a lot uh, but with trunks in that and especially bigger guys I wanted to line them so I had this paisley looking material uh, that I'm not going to use for anything so it made a really good colorful liner um, so that worked out really well it was just something I had extra so usually if I do a liner I just use whatever spare material I have um, especially with these trunks because I did them in two panels so there you can see where I sewed the seam. Sometimes I'll do it all in one piece, but since I had to do a liner in them, it's easier to do it in two panels, and it comes out the same. So, And I double stitch all my seams. So when I stitched this down, I top stitched it also. So, And then made sure everything was solid and good. And then up here... Whenever I put my drawstrings in, I always do a top stitch along here to lock them in so it doesn't, it gives it a channel and a groove to go through. And then I'll stitch a little box around here and hole punch it through the elastic before I sew it all the way down. I'll do this first. I'll stitch my elastic down to the material and then I'll sew this box, punch the holes, and then actually fold it over, stitch it here stitch it on the top and then run my elastic some people put their elastic in and then stitch it i've seen people do that um i don't like doing that it's too much for me to mess with i have a pair of uh thin tweezers they're about five inches long and i just hook my drawstring to those and then i run it through that way it takes a whole like two minutes so and it keeps it from getting bound up if I accidentally sew over top of it, which I've done before trying that. So these came out pretty good. I'm happy with them. This is the third or third pair I think uh, I've made of these in different styles. Um, I wish I could find a way to make these reversible. <laughs> That'd be kind of neat. That's something I'm working on. I did a like a zigzag stretch stitch around the legs, a little bit something more narrow. I do the same thing along here usually. I like it better than a normal zigzag stitch. Uh, it doesn't pop as easy because it's almost like a straight stitch along each section. And so it works out pretty good. And then when I glued these, oh, where did my adhesive go? Over here. What I do is when I do my panels, I cut out the piece, the first piece. So I'll cut this front panel out and then I'll spray half of it with this. I like this, I've switched this. I was using the um, uh, Heat and Bond brand of basting spray. Uh, this you get a lot more. It's the June Taylor one. You get a lot more in it and it works just as good and it's cheaper. So um, I really like this stuff. If I want something with a little bit more stick to it, I use the 3M Super 77 stuff, but that's for like kick pads, gauntlets, leather work, pleather vinyl. This I want to come loose. So once these get washed and worn, uh, they'll have more stretch and give to them. The Super 77 will do it too, but this doesn't gum up your sewing machine. So, and you don't have to wait for it to dry up a little bit and get tacky. You can just spray it and stick it, so works pretty well so, and this stuff holds up really nice this leather is 
I actually got this at Joann's. Um, it's the Yaya Han cosplay leather. Um, get it when it's on sale or when they have a coupon because otherwise it's expensive. But it doesn't peel like some of the pleathers do and it holds up really, really well. I made a pair of trunks out of this for a guy and they held up and sewed great. You gotta put a little baby oil on it to get it to uh, sew smooth because otherwise it will stick even if you have a Teflon foot. So there's that. But, and then the uh, drawstring is just paracord. I take paracord and then I cut the ends and I pull all the white string out of it so it's hollow. Um, it just works better that way. And then I burn the ends of it. So, but there's that. One nice fancy pair of trunks for old Crash Jackson. So I send him pictures and he's very happy with them. So on to the next one. I got a pair of uh, pretty sharp looking long tights I got to make for a guy. Looking forward to making those. So feel free to leave any comments, questions, uh, tips, tricks, whatever. Like, subscribe, all that happy social media stuff.